In today's video, I'm going to share with you my PPC dashboard templates that you can use to explore your Google Ads data. Google Data Studio is owned by Google, that's why it provides seamless integration with Google Ads. You should only choose the account from the drop-down menu, uh, but you should be logged in your account to access your data. And the report doesn't share any Google Ads data with me. You're privately viewing only your own account data. I suggest you bookmark this page after you've chosen your Google Ads and so that the next time you don't need to pick Google Ads again. Uh, the next thing that I want to show you are filtering. Uh, first of all, you can click uh, to select all your campaigns or um, type to search for a specific campaign and then filter only this one. Here is how we can uh, filter only one campaign and uh, then I can select all campaigns. Additionally, you can see how much money you spent on a particular campaign. Below is uh, the campaign uh, type filter. You can specify which type of campaign you want to explore. Also, you can filter the device type to see it performance and you can filter countries. In the right hand corner, date range is located. If you click on it, you can adjust the date uh, that you want to show uh, your data. By default is showing the last 30 days, but you can select from the drop-down menu last 7 days, last 14 days or whatever you want. Also you can use the date picker to select your specific date range as well and you need to click apply. Here you can see your clicks, CPC conversions, cost per conversion and ad spend data. Uh, beneath each of KPI you can see the comparison with the previous period. In my case it uh, lasts 30 days. But if you change the date range comparison will change too. If you hover on the chart you can see a uh, change over time for a particular metric. The next section is a campaign explorer. Uh, the table is pretty flexible and can be adjusted to your needs. You can drill up to the account level and drill down to ad group, keyword and match type level. Also you can adjust metrics. If you are running for example YouTube ads, uh, you may need to track the number of views and uh, average cost per view but average CPC you may not need so you can remove it. Uh, the third section is about search query explorer, top competitors, match type and quality score. Uh, search query explorer showing what keywords people uh, type before they jump on your website. Optional metrics are also available here. Uh, moreover, you can filter your search terms by typing your keywords right here. Uh, top competitors provide insights about who your competitors in PPC, their impression share, overlap rate. Also, you can investigate average position and outranking share. If you see the blank cell, it means that uh, it is your website. That's how Google Data Studio displays your data. Match type uh, is showing the breakdown by the broad exactly, uh, and phrase match uh, and how much you spend for a specific match type as well how many clicks you received. As the quality score is showing how good your ads are optimized, if you hover on it, uh, you can see the number of clicks and ads spent. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Google Data Studio and you can find the dashboard template below.